Hi everyone, hope you're doing well and you enjoy the beginning of fall. Alexandre Belma with you for another podcast and this week I'll be with you to show you how you can change your ringtone on your iPhone as well as some other notification sounds. We will see how to change this by default or for a specific contact as well. We'll also see how to change text, notification sound, voicemail, and more. You'll also learn how you can assign a specific haptic feedback or vibration to a specific type of notification, and I'll also show you how you can create your personal vibration. This does not apply to notification from third-party app, but anyway, using this method, you'll be able to quickly know which type of notification you're receiving without having to touch your iPhone. Enjoy! When receiving a phone call or a notification, for sure, you have the possibility to check with voiceover who is calling you or who is sending you out a text message, for example. But this is something that will require you pick up your iPhone and check on the screen what's going on. Today, I'll be with you to show you that there is a way you can set up your phone to get a specific sound or vibration when receiving a phone call or a text message from a specified contact. But before this, I'd also like to take the time to show you the global settings on how you can set up some ringtones, how you can change the default vibration, how to change the sound when receiving a text message, a voicemail, a calendar alert, whatever else, and how you can assign specific vibration to these alerts, allowing you to easily know which kind of alert you're receiving even during a meeting just by feeling the vibration. We'll uh, start this out in the uh, settings section of the iPhone. We'll cover the sound and haptic section. After that, we will talk about setting up some a ringtone or SMS sound notification for a specific contact. I am actually using iOS 14 to perform this demonstration. Well, don't worry. If you are still running on iOS 13, let's say 13.7, it's going to be the exact same thing. So uh, you don't have to worry about this. Only a very, very, very small feature was added in iOS 14 related to sound and notifications. We'll talk about it a bit later on. But this is not something that will affect users of iOS 13 at this point. Well, let's go ahead and open the settings settings then let me locate the sound and haptic button in the setting panel let me flick right search alec airplay wife blue cell notif sound do not sounds and haptics button here it is so sound and haptic let me click it vibrate heading all right, and let's start from the beginning, and I will explain to you all the options there. Settings, back button. So for sure, at the top left corner of the screen, here's the back button, allowing me to go back to the main screen of settings. So let me flick right. Sounds and haptics, heading, vibrate, heading, vibrate on ring, on. So... Yes, as you may notice, all settings here are separate by headings. And yes, for sure, you can use the heading options in your rotor if you'd like to find a specific heading. So the first options under the vibration heading vibrate on ring on is vibrate on rings. What it means, this is only a toggle. I can double tap it to turn it off or double tap it again to turn it back on. Off, on. There we go. So when hearing a ringtone, do you want that your iPhone vibrate or not at the same time? So this is the use of this setting. Next one. Vibrate on silent, on. 
vibrate on silent. Again, this is a toggle. Off. On. There we go. What is the silent mode? Notice on the left side of your iPhone, you may find out a switch. If this switch is facing the, the bottom of the iPhone. Muted. Unmuted. Or the top, you'll have the possibility to mute or unmute your iPhone. At the time you'll be muting your iPhone, you may feel an haptic feedback, I think. Vibrate on silent, on. Let me just Double turn tap. off the option. Off. And muted. Yeah, okay. If this option is off. Unmuted. When muting, you're not going to feel any kind of haptic, but you will feel one when unmuting. On. Compared to if this option is on, when muting. Muted. Then I can feel a feedback. Unmuted. And when unmuting. No feedback. So, well, if your iPhone is in silent mode, then for sure you can cut off the vibration. So if a notification enter, you won't be able to hear any kind of sound and no vibration at all. This is not the same thing as the do not disturb mode because the notification will pop up on the screen. It will only block the sound and the silence and the vibration when being in silence mode. Next option. Headphone audio heading. This one is a new option of iOS 14. This is the option, the new option I was talking about a few minutes ago. This option allowed to moderate the volume or the sound you'll be hearing if you're wearing some headsets. Now we are in the editing. Let me flick right to see the option. Reduce loud sounds. Off button. So reduce the loud sound. It is currently half. This is a button when clicking. We'll be able to access more options. So let me double tap. Reduce loud sounds. Off. All right. Double tap to toggle setting. So here. Reduce loud sounds. Heading. Reduce loud sounds. Off. Here is a toggle button reduce loud sound. If I flick right, I'll be able to hear a description of this setting. Your iPhone can analyze headphone audio and reduce any sound that is over a set decibel level. Learn more. Ellipsis. Link. So here is also a link allowing to get more help. So uh, let me flick left and I will turn on the option. Reduce loud sounds. Off. So let me double tap. On. There we go. And 85 decibels, as loud as heavy city traffic. Well, we are hearing a difference. So for those who are uh, having some uh, difficulties hearing what the iPhone is saying, it is 85 decibel maximum. So similar to, let's say, urban traffic. Decibel level, 85 decibels, adjustable. And the next control is an adjustable value allowing you to change the number of decibel. So if I flick up, I should increase. If I flick down, I will decrease. 90 decibels, 95 decibels. Let's check 95. So if I want to um, hear a comparison of what is 95 decibel, let me flick left. 95 decibels, as loud as a car horn. So a car horn, there we go. And decibel level, 100 decibels. 100 the maximum is 100. 100 decibels, as loud as an ambulance siren. Wow, ambulance siren. Yeah, for sure. For those who are listening to the uh, podcast, actually, it is not comparable uh, to exactly the real sound if you're wearing some headphones because actually my iPhone is connected to a mixer. So the maximum value is 100 decibel. Decibel level, 100 decibels. And let's check what is the minimum one by flicking down 90, a couple of times. Decibel, 80, 70, 75 decibels. So 75 decibel. 75 decibels, as loud as a vacuum cleaner and as loud as a vacuum cleaner. So let me put back the value to the default one, which is 85. Decibel, 80, 80, 90 decibel, 85 decibels. Great. Then let me flick left. I will, for sure, for the, the, the purpose of this demo, I will turn off this feature. Reduce loud sounds. On. Off. There we go. Your iPhone. Reduce loud sounds. Off. It's going to be much better for you. So uh, this is the new feature 
related to sound and haptic in iOS 14. Let me do the uh, scrub gesture with two fingers. Vibrate heading. There we go. Then let me uh, find back the vibrate on silent where we on. Were. Head reduce loud sounds off button. There we go. By the way, for those who have not yet updated to iOS 14, I'll greatly suggest you to wait a bit. I think it's going to be better in the actual situation, especially if you're a beginner with assistive technologies. Next options. Ringer and alerts heading. Now we are in the ringer and alerts heading. This heading will contain several settings to adjust sounds, ringer, and things like this. Let me flick right. Sound volume 100% adjustable. Here is the cursor to adjust the ringtones volume. So actually I am at the maximum value. Let me flick down a couple of times just to show you. 80%, So I flick down a couple of times, then I flick back up to make sure that the volume is set to 100%. You probably observed that changing the ringtone volume was also uh, changing the voiceover volume in this recording. Yes, when adjusting the cursor, you will definitely hear that the voice of voiceover will change volume. However, this is not a setting that affects voiceover in any case. It is just affecting voiceover during the time you're adjusting the setting. So after changing the uh, ringtones volume, you will recover the main voiceover volume you were used to. So be aware of this. And uh, this may not affect the uh, sound, like uh, not the alert and the ringtone, but I mean like the music, the video, etc. that are playing on your iPhone as well. These are relying on a different volume settings. Let's see the next option. Change with buttons off. Change with buttons. The volume of the ringer and alerts will not be affected by the volume buttons. So let's say you're turning on this setting. This is definitely not something I will recommend you to do because if you turn on the settings, every time you'll be uh, pressing uh, volume buttons on the side of your iPhone, on the left side of the iPhone, well, the ringtone volume will change as well. So if you're using voiceover, you may need to change the volume of the voice often, but you definitely don't want that the ringtone will be at a very low level as you may listen the voiceover voice to. And uh, so, you know, like, uh, let's say you're listening voiceover voice at 10 or 15% of maximum volume, uh, then if your ringtone is at this level as well, then uh, expect to be missing some important calls. And for sure, I'm not sure you want to experience that. So to avoid this kind of behavior, make sure to leave this option off. Let's continue. Sounds and vibration patterns, heading. Now, sounds and vibration. We'll flick right again. Ringtone, opening, button. So, here are the settings for the ringtone. I will uh, come back to it a bit later. I just want to show you the other categories. Text tone, input, button. So here's for the text tone. And for sure, yes, tone, but vibration as well and haptic feedback, etc. You'll see that all these categories are quietly similar to each other's. So we'll be covering them one after the other. New voicemail, tree tone, button. So for the new voicemail. New mail, none, button. The new mail sound. We'll talk about this one a bit later on because I want to show you how you can set up a specific sound 
by account and not only a global sound when receiving emails. Send mail, swoosh, button. Send mail, so the swoosh sound. <laughs> calendar alerts, cord, button. The calendar alert. Reminder alerts, cord, button. The reminder alert. Airdrop, pulse, button. Airdrop. So when receiving airdrop communication, which one do you want to hear? Uh, what is airdrop, by the way? This is the ability to transmit some data between one Apple device to another using uh, proximity like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Keyboard clicks on. The keyboard clicks, this one, you don't have any sound choice or haptic choice. This one is only a toggle, so on or off. Off. On. So when I double tap it, it will change the value. For those who don't know what are keyboard clicks, let me show you. So when typing, you may hear these clicks. When deleting, and when skipping a line. So typing, deleting, and new line. Here they are. The next setting. Lock sound on. The lock sound. So again, this is a toggle on or off. Let me show you what it is. So each time you'll be locking your screen, this is the sound you will hear if this toggle is turned on. Next option and the final one. System haptics on. The system haptic. This one also, it's a toggle. Play haptics for system controls and interactions. So here's a description of this option. Play. So, and this is the last one. So, meaning, let's say uh, you can for sure turn off some vibrations. Let's say uh, when performing like a payment using Apple Pay or something like this. If you're using an iPhone with 3D touch, it won't affect the vibration when pressing and uh, hardly holding the screen. So uh, hardly pressing the screen, so it won't affect this uh, haptic feedback. However, a good example of this is if you turn this off, well, uh, the uh, haptic feedback provided by voiceover when sliding the virtual home button on an iPhone X or uh, higher, uh, this will be turned off. The other thing also, when entering a wrong passcode, normally you should feel an haptic feedback. If you turn this option off, you won't. By the way, if you want to turn off all the vibration of your device, well, there's a way to do so. You will have to go to the accessibility screen. Let me show you. Settings, back button. Settings, back button. Settings, Alexander. Uh, let me flick right. Airplay, Wi-Fi, blue, cell, no, sound, do not, screen, general, controls, display, and home screen, accessibility, button. So, um, at the root of settings, you may find the accessibility. Let me click. Accessibility features help you customize vision, heading, voiceover, on, button. And we'll flick right until we'll find out touch. Map, display, motion, spoken, audio description, physical and motor, touch, button. There we go. So, touch. Assistive touch, off, but assistive touch, reach ability, double tap the home button to bring. I am still flicking right. 3D and haptic, when 3D touches, touch accommodations. If you have trouble using, shake to undo. If you tend to sh vibration, on. When this switch is off, all vibration on your iPhone will be disabled, including those for earthquake, tsunami, and other emergency alerts. There we go. So if you really want to turn off all vibration from your iPhone device. Vibration, on. Vibration there under accessibility, then touch, you can turn this off. Off. And then the only vibration I think that will remain is for those who are using an iPhone 7 or plus, 8 or plus, uh, is for the virtual home button because 
uh, if they home. remove the vibration, then you won't be able to be notified when uh, you press the button. Reminders. Just, yep, no I did a 3D touch on my iPhone and no more haptic feedback. So let me go switcher. back in my if you tend to shake your accessibility. But if you tend to shake your iPhone by accident, vibration off, vibration on. There we go. So settings active shake to undo on now uh, the um, if vibration on the vibration is now turned on again. So let me go out of there. Uh, by the way, accessibility back button on the accessibility back button. If I uh, do a triple tap accessibility button settings button, I can select where I want to go back. So let me go back to settings, settings one heading. shot. This is a new feature, by the way, of iOS 14. For those who are still running on iOS 13, don't try that, it won't work. Alexandra, airplane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, off, notification, sounds and haptics, sounds and haptics. But so let me go back into the sound and haptics section, and then now we'll go ahead and explore the ringtone uh, settings. Vibrate, heading, v vi head, reduce, ringer and alert, sound volume, one, the volume of sounds and vibration ringtone opening button so here it is ringtone opening we'll uh, go ahead and explore a sound category so let me click the ringtone here vibration default button and now Ring sounds and haptics back button let's start from the back button here we are and then we'll flick right and we will explore the uh, different available options there ringtone heading vibration default button so the first option is allowing to change the vibration. Currently, it is set to default. Why changing the vibration? Yes, because for sure you can use the default vibration, which is the synchronized one with the ringtone. Apple also suggests some uh, more classic vibration. Or you can create your own personal vibration as well. And we will talk about this in a moment and creating your own vibration is really useful in the case your iPhone is in vibrate mode and you really want to be able to identify one of your uh, contact who uh, will uh, call you or text you. You can assign specific or personalized vibration when receiving call, a text message or for some other events. So we'll come back to this a bit later on. I just want to show you before how to change the ringtone so uh, or the sound in general. Now we are in the ringtone section. So um, this is a store heading the store tone store. Download all purchase tones. So you can uh, consult the uh, tone store or you can uh, re-download your uh, previously purchased tones. This will download all ringtones and alerts purchased using all right, so I just cut it off here because uh, the uh, Apple ID uh, account name is um, announced here. Ringtones, heading, selected, opening, default. And now I can see all the uh, ringtones that are available. Apex, beacon, bulletin, be so ringtones, selected, opening, default. Let me uh, place back the focus on the first one and if I want to listen to a ringtone, I just need to double tap it. Selected. Open. There we go. And then uh, I can do that with Beacon, Bulletin, By the Seesaw, Chimes, Circuit, Constellation, Cosmic. With everyone. Constellation. Let's say Constellation. Selected. Constellation. All right, and you can hear at the same time when clicking on the ringtone that this one is now the selected one. So if you exit the uh, sound here, the uh, consolation ringtone will be the active one. Crystals, hillside, illuminate. When night owl playing play a time. ringtone, presto, playtime. Let's use playtime for fun. I can also redouble tap 
to stop playing it. Selected playtime. Selected so playtime. I just did the additional double tap here and it stopped playing. If you continue flicking right, press right, 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 set, six, cell, slope, stop, summit, twinkle, uplift, way, class, alert, classic, button. You'll find out a button called classic. If you click this button, alarm, you'll find all the classic ringtone from, um, well, a few years ago. Um, I can't remember when Apple launched the new bunch of ringtones, but all the, the classic ringtones are there. Alarm. Ascend. Bark. Belt. Blue. Boing. Crick. Digital. Door. Duck. Harp. Marimba. Motor. Old. Marimba. Especially like uh, for those who know well the marimba. If I click it, you will hear it. Selected marimba. This one is an old Duck. classic ringtone. So let me go ringtone. get back button out of there. Sounds. Summit. Up. Wait. Select alert. Selected classic marimba button. And now, if we look at the button, it's going to be selected classic and the name of the classic ringtone in use. If I continue right, alert tones heading. I will also find out the alert tone. Aurora, bamboo chord. These ones are shorter tones. Circles. Let's see if I grab the uh, circles. I can click it. Selected circles. So shorter one, and at the bottom, popcorn classic. I have also the classic button that contains hold alert sounds. So that's the way we can select ringtones. Let me bamboo select um, rose eight rose four to nineteen of four. Let me select a modern one. This will download all ring opening default eight beacon bulletin mm. chimes. Let me find circuit. Uh, well, uh, I will grab maybe circuit. Selected circuit. Selected all right, I'll circuit. just double tap it again just to uh, prevent uh, hearing all the ringtones. And then uh, earlier we were talking about how to select a personalized vibration. Rows 1 to 10 of 44. So let me go at the beginning of my screen. Vibration default button. And if I click the vibration default. Selected synchronized default. The default vibration is the synchronized, meaning that uh, this is the vibration synchronized with the ringtone we have just selected. We have selected the circuit. Let me double tap and we will uh, feel the vibration. You may hear it as well. Selected, synchronized, default. You know, so that's how it sounds like. And then if I flick right, standard heading, I will have standard choices, accent, alert, heartbeat. So let's use the heartbeat. The heartbeat. Let me click it. Selected, heartbeat. Boop boop. You know. Selected heartbeat. That's it. And we have a couple ones like this. Quick, rapid, S, staccato, S, O, S. Let's select for fun SOS. Selected S, O, S. So that's the SOS in vibrate mode. Stacc symphony, custom, heading. Ah, the symphony. symphony. Selected. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Custom, heading, create new vibration, button. And here, none. I have the custom, allowing me to create new vibration and none. For sure, the none option. So I can disable the vibration with my ringtone as well. Uh, and leave the vibration on for other uh, sound effects, notification sound effects. So let me. Create new vibration. Show button. you how you can create a new vibration. In order to do so, I will click the button and then after that, I will need to touch the center of the screen and follow the beat by touching and raising my finger that I want in vibration. Create new vibration. Cancel so, button. Here we go. Let me now touch the center of the screen. Top surface. Vibration recording started. 
And now? Using my finger. Done recording vibration. Okay, and now I'm done. So I can tap the beat and that's it. The bottom of my screen, just at the top of the home button. To record button. I should find out a button allowing me to record again. Record play button. And uh, flicking left, I also have a play button. So if I click the uh, play button, I should be able to hear back what I've just recorded. Let's do it. Play dimmed. Done replay and vibration. Toolbar. Play button. There we go. And if I touch the center of the screen. Top surface. Well. Tap record button to create a new vibration pattern. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. All right. So even if, let's say, I did not touch the bottom of the screen, then if I'm trying to flake, nothing's happened. So that's why it's really important to locate at the, at the bottom of the screen. Toolbar. Play button. Record button. Either the play or the record button. Then play button. If I flick left. Vibration component. Time interval. 9.9 .9 seconds. Duration. Vibration component. Time interval. 9.4 seconds. Duration. 0.2 seconds. Previous pause time interval. 9.1 seconds. So Previous I have pause duration. 0.3 seconds. All the component that designed the vibration I just did. Unfortunately, this is not uh, something you can modify or edit, but you can visualize them. And at the top of the screen, just under the battery level, 89% save button. Here I have the save button. And just under the network uh, signal stamp or even the time, depending your iPhone model, no S I cancel button. I should find the cancel button, but in my case, save orient save button. Let me click the save Top button. Surface. Whoops, I missed it. Sorry. Well, Toolbar to record the button. Top surface. Come on. Toolbar play button. Eighty nine save button. Top surface alert. New vibration text field is editing vibration name character mode insertion point at start. All right. Use then, the rotor to access miss. All right. And then here I am ready to type in the name of the new vibration I've just created. Cap P. Let me call it Papa. podcast. Cap O O D D C C A A Z S S T T. There we go. Done. At the bottom right corner, here's the done button. Let me double tap it. Quick. All right. It's so done. create new vibe. None. None. And then create new vibe. Selected. Podcast. Custom heading selected podcast. Just under the custom heading, now I can see the uh, podcast vibration I've just created, and this one is already selected. Ringtone back button. Now, if I find back the back button, ringtone, then click it. Download all purchased tones. Well, the ring oh, apex be by the shop selected con selected circuit. Then now, if I click again the uh, ringtone I've selected, then uh, we should be uh, able to hear the ringtone with the vibration I've just created. Sorry, it might be a bit different than when I did the initial playback because um, I uh, need to record it again uh, due to a technical issue. My apologies. So I will just click the ringtone just to show you. Selected circuit. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's the ringtone with the vibration I've just created. Let me put back the default vibration and I'd like to show you how it sounds like when the vibration is synchronized with the ringtone. Ringtone, sounds and half, vibration, podcast, button, synchronized, accent, step, Oops. synchronized, def, selected, synchronized, ringtone, back button, All ringtone, right. back button, heartbeat, ringtone, sounds, Ring opening eight feet by find the seaside. Back this, the ringtone Ch selected Ch selected circuit. All right, here it is. Then uh, let me show you how um, it's feel with the synchronized vibration. Let me double tap. Selected circuit.
think you can hear it well uh, because this one is really synchronized with the ringtone. So when you feel the iPhone, at the same time you listen to the ringtone, um, you may feel that it is exactly or very similar to what you are hearing when feeling the vibration. So, well, that's it for the ringtone. I will exit this category. This will download sounds and haptics back button. Here's my back button. Setting. There Settings. we go. Back button. And let me show you how it's look like. Let's say if you want to set up a specific sound for a text message or for any other events. Sound volume. What sounds and ringtone circuit button. Text tone input button. So for the text tone, then I can double none. tap it, and then alert tones heading none. Um, by default, we are prompt with the uh, alert tone. So um, and the first one in the list is none. For sure, you'll also have the possibility to select a ringtone, but. Knowing usually for alerts, we prefer shorter sounds, then alert sounds are shown first. And just before the alert sounds, if I flick left, alert tones, head. this will download all rent, download all per tone store, store, head, vibration, default button. I still have the uh, tone store and I can also define a specific vibration for text. None. Note default Aurora. Bamboo. So for fun, cord. let me bamboo. select the uh, bamboo sound. Well, I will click it. Selected bamboo. Well, maybe not. Uh, let me find another one. Core circles complete. Hello. Mm. Input keys. Popcorn. Let's use popcorn. Selected popcorn. Much better and much uh, audible than the uh, prior one. All right, so that's how it works. And just at the end of the alert sound, if I continue flicking right, synth, classic, ringtone, apex, beacon, bulletin. Then here I can also visualize and see all the available ringtones. So let me go out of there. Sounds and hat pulse. Sounds and haptics. Back setting. Sounds and vibration patterns. Heading. Let's check the other options. Text tone. New voicemail. Tree tone. Button. For the new voicemail, it's quietly the same thing. New mail. None. Button. Here's the new mail sound. Well, uh, regarding this one, this is the general new email sound. But there's also a way if you want to assign a specific sound for a specific account. Well, uh, before anything, I can suggest you if you want to be advice of all new emails, maybe you can uh, make sure to select a sound there. Vibration, tone store, store, vibrate, new vibration, default. So button. again, definitely I can select a specific vibration for the new mail. Store, heading, tone store, download all purchase tone. This will download all rent alert tones, heading, selected, none, default. And then, yes, by default, it is set to none. Aurora, bam, chord, circles, complete, hello, input, keys, note, mm, popcorn, what should I use? pulse, synth, classic, ringtones, heading, mm, apex, classic, I think it's going to be in classic, alert. what I'm looking for, Antis bell, blue, clip, chime, choo, descend, ding. I think a lot of you well know the ding sound. Uh, let me select it. Selected, ding. Yeah, exactly this one. Um, but... As mentioned, you can also assign a specific sound for a specific email account. So in order to do so, let me go at the root of my settings. So iOS 14, let me new mail back button. Click the new mail back, but a triple tap. One, two, three. New mail button. S dis dismiss context menu settings button. and then let me click the settings button there we go heading. so back at the root of my settings I, th this option is so nice well ios 14 is not the best uh at this time knowing that there's an annoying bug with safari and voiceover that also affect third parties apps but anyway maybe you should wait uh, again a bit before updating if you did not uh, process the updates already anyway in order to um, select a personalized sound for 
each of your email accounts, you will have to find out the mail button in settings. So let me flick and I will find it out. Mail button. All right, so mail is here. Let me click it. Allow mail to access heading. And then we'll have to find out the notification settings. So um, I'll just make sure that I am at the top of my screen. Allow mail to access settings back button. And then let me flick right. Mail heading. Allow mail to access Syrian search button. Notifications sounds badges button. Here it is. So if I click notifications. Allow notifications on. Let's, Double tap to toggle. Let's see what's in there. Notifications, heading, mail, back, allow notifications, on, Canadian log, sounds, badges, button. So here is one of my accounts. So for each of my account, exchange, sounds, badges, button, Gmail, sounds, badges, button. So let's take out the Gmail as an example. Then I can click this account. Allow notifications, on. And then Double tap to toggle. I can change the settings for this account. Alerts, heading. Allow unlock screen button. Allow a notification center. But allow as banner button. Sounds ding button. And there, if I click the sounds button, complete. I can select another sound for this account. Circles, chord, none. Yeah, my focus was placed uh, in the middle of the screen. Unfortunately. Alert tones heading none. So here, for sure, I am presented with my alert sounds first. So then I can select another one. Aurora, bamboo. And for sure, I can select none as well. Chord. So bamboo. Let me uh, select the bamboo sound. Selected bamboo. Mm. Chord circles. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Chord. Perfect. Then uh, I can uh, exit this account by using the back button. Gmail back button notification. I will have to click the back button again. Notification mail. All right. Mail back button. And the same way. Gmail. Exchange Canadian log. Sounds. Badges. Button. Let me grab the Canadian log account. I can assign a different sound to it. Allow notifications on. Alert. Allow unlock. Allow and allow sounds. Ding button. Complete. And yes. Canadian log. Back button. By the way, uh, if in the uh, sound screen, I start from the top. Sounds. He Vibration default. Button. I can also change the vibration. Store. He tone store. I can access the store. Download. This will download. Alert tones. None. Aurora. Back core. Circle. Then Inpl let me hello. Input. Uh, grab hello. For fun, the hello tone. Selected. Hello. I'm done. So uh, because I have no other changes to process, then I will uh, get back to the root of my settings. Canadian log. Back button. Canadian note mess dismiss settings button. There it is. Settings heading. So here we go. Now I am back at the main screen of settings. For sure, other notifications settings exist. If you are interested to learn more, that might be another great topic for another podcast. Not exclusively on mail, but on the notification center as well. Uh, it might be a great idea as well. So let us know. If you are interested to learn more, maybe I can record a podcast explaining how to change notification settings and how to uh, better access your notifications. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to assign a specific ringtone or vibration or same thing for text tone to a particular contact. So this way uh, you'll be able to easily know who is calling you, who is texting you, even if your phone is in silent mode. In order to do so, let me go to my home screen. There we go. And I will access the contact application. Contacts. Here it is. For sure, take note that you can also um, perform these changes using the phone app or any other apps that will let you accessing your contacts. So I will access contact. Contacts. All right, then add button search search field. Let me find a specific contact, which is called Canadian Log Mobile. Search field is caps E caps A A B N N A A. Other result can top name Canadian Log Mobile. There we go. 
Search back button. And uh, for sure, uh, if your contact does not already exist, make sure to create one. It's going to be helpful for the next step. Uh, or, uh, by the way, you can also do what we'll do in a second while creating your contact as well. So, because my contact already exists, I will have to click the edit button located at the top right corner. Edit button. Done. Dimmed. There we go. So now we'll have to review context details together. And at a certain point, you will have the possibility to assign a specific ringtone or a text tone. So let's see. We'll flick right. Add photo button. First name. Canadian. Last name. Mobile. Company. Text field. By the way, all these fields are editable. So if you need to change a value after clicking edit, you'll have the possibility to do it because all fields are now text field. So simply double click on a field if you need to edit one. iPhone button 514. That's the iPhone number here. Add phone button. Add email button. Ringtone default. And here it is, the ringtone. Text tone default. And the text tone. Any other things we can change regarding audio and tones? Add URL button. No, add URL if you want to add a website or uh, even maybe a social uh, profile or something like this. So, well. Text ringtone default. Let me find the ringtone. By the way, I'm not going to cover the uh, text tone because it is exactly the same way as changing the ringtone. So as far as we cover the procedure on how to change the ringtone, you'll be for sure able to do the exact same thing while clicking on a text tone. It is exactly the same, except that alert tones are presented before ringtones. That's the only difference. So uh, really, uh, we'll do it today with the ringtone. Ringtone default. So uh, if you want to change one of these tones, make your choice first between ringtone, text tone, or default. text tone. Ringtone, In my default. case, I will use the ringtone. Ringtone, cancel button. And there we go. Now, uh, let me flick right to see the available options. Ringtone, heading, done, button. Emergency bypass, switch button, off. Double um, tap, emergency bypass allows sounds and vibrations from this person even when the ring switch is set to silent or when do not disturb is on. Okay, yeah. Uh, what it means, if you turn on the emergency bypass, then uh, you will be uh, able to hear your phone ringing, even if this one is under vibrate mode. Uh, is it also affecting the do not disturb? I think yes. Emergency bypass allows sounds and vibrations from this person even when the ring switch is set to silent or when do not disturb is on. Yeah, do not disturb is on. So whatever, if do not disturb is on or if uh, you are um, muted, if your iPhone is muted, then the ringtone uh, like you will hear the ringtone. So uh, this is something great for maybe someone who you really need to be able to receive calls from. So uh, be aware of this. Um, Vibration default button. And there we go. Here you can change the vibration. I will come back to this a bit later on. I just want to continue. Store. Tone store. Here is the uh, tone store and the next option allowing you to download a uh, previously purchased tone. Download all purchased tones. All right. So as usual, this will download all ringtones and alert default selected circuit. So now I am shown that the default ringtone is actually selected, meaning that if like I change the default tone, then uh, my contact will also follow this change. Circuit is selected, knowing this is my default tones. Ringtones. Circuit. And here I have another circuit I can select. Why? It is just because if I want to keep this contact using circuit, even if I change the default ringtone, then I will have the possibility to do so. So even if I change my default ringtone at a later time, this contact, if I previously select this value, will still continue using the circuit ringtone. Then Apex, Beacon, Bulletin, 
by the seaside. After I have all the other tones. So Cos cosmic. Let me select another one for this contact. Crystals. Hit it. Night. Oh, plate. Pre play time. So let's select play time. Selected play time. Selected play time. All right. All right. I will just pause it in order to prevent having to listening to it. Presto. And note that at the hand. Rate ripples. As we saw before. Signal. Silk. Slow rock. Start. Summit. Tweet. Uplift. Wave. Classic. Alert. Classic. Button. You still have the classic button allowing to select a classic ringtone. Alert tones. And Heading. then after. Aurora. Bamboo. Chord. You also find the alert tone. So also let me assign a particular vibration or personalized vibration. Done. But emergency emergency vibration default button. So let me click the uh, vibration default button here. Selected, synchronized, default. So now it is using the uh, synchronized vibration with the ringtone, which is the Standard default. Heading. And then Ax alert, heart quick, rapid. As we said before, exactly the same thing as when changing the default ringtone. S. Staccato. Symphony. Custom. Heading. Podcast. So Actions available. let me select the uh, podcast vibration. Selected. Podcast. All right. Makes sen make sense. Vibration. So, heading. Ringtone. Back button. Ringtone. Let me click the Carol, ringtone button. back button. There we go. Ringtone. Head. Done. Emergency. Emergency vibration podcast button. And now we can see that the vibration is well set to podcast. In order to complete these changes, we'll have to select the down button located at the top right corner of the screen. Done button. There we go. Cancel and button. Finally, we'll have to save modification to the uh, contact by uh, clicking the down button as well. Done button. Edit. All right, so now my contact Kenny Dialog Mobile has a personalized ringtone and a personalized vibration as well. So let me go back to my home screen. There we go. Tips. Okay. And what I suggest to you is to perform a couple of test calls. To get started, I will call the demonstration phone using my personal iPhone, not the uh, Kini Dialog mobile phone. So here we go, launching the call now. In Alexandra Belmar, answer call button. So that makes sense. And if we uh, check for the vibration, makes sense. Let me answer call button. I will just decline in order 10, to prevent any kind of feedback. There we go. Try again. Passcode oh, field. No, I, can, I can leave it locked. Okay, that's okay. And then let me uh, launch the call from the Kini Dialog mobile phone and we'll see what's going to happen. Incoming Kini Dialog mobile. FaceTime audio call. Kini Dialog mobile. All right. And feeling the vibration sounds good. So let me decline the call now. All right, so I think everything's working fine now. I think this also concludes this podcast. In a next podcast, I would like to show you how you can create your personalized ringtones because yes using an iPhone this is not easy as it is on Android but you also have the possibility to generate and create your own ringtones so maybe in the next podcast stay tuned and I'll show you how to accomplish that in the meantime if you have some questions comments or suggestions feel free to contact us you can find all our contact details in a short while. You can reach us by phone, by email, using social networks, and much more. We'll be more than happy to discuss with you. In extra, keep in mind we can also provide trainings on an hourly base, and uh, this is available for either private or group training. So if you're facing issues with assistive technologies, if you want to learn more 
on a specific topic, let's say you want to order your grocery online, uh, then it might be uh, possible to do it as well. Or if you want to consult flyers, things like this, or you just want to uh, be able to quickly join a Zoom meeting, well, feel free to let us know. These are all good topics or questions and we'll be more than happy to assist. So let us know what you need and we'll let you know if this is possible and probably that it is. This was Alexandre Belmar. Glad to be with you today and me, I will catch you in the next podcast. Bye for now. Before ending this podcast, we would like to thank you for your loyalty to this series of podcasts on assistive technologies. We would also like to thank our loyal collaborators. As a reminder, I would like to inform you that Canadialog will not offer free technical support on product presented during these shows and that are not sold directly by Kinedialog. Note that Kinedialog offers private or group training as well as technical assistance services. Bill, on an hourly basis, contact us to get a quote adapted to your need or to find out more. Our podcasts are available on several popular platforms as on iTunes, Google Podcast, YouTube, TuneIn, Victor, etc. Visit our website accessible at kennydialogue.com, C A N A D I A L O G.com for more details. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments related to this podcast series, please contact us by email at podcast with an S at kennydialogue.com. That is P O D C A S T S at C A N A D I A L O G dot com. You can also reach us by phone on our toll free number at 1 888 730 0003, extension 555. Feel free to check out Kenny Dialogue on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.